Hey, I'm Scott, and I'm an American in Bangkok. You know, one of the most uh, asked questions that I get has to do with banking, among other things. But uh, banking and b making bank transfers, how to get your money. Uh, and here in Thailand, every bank will assess a fee for you withdrawing your money from a, an international uh, account, bank account, international ATM. Uh, it didn't used to be this way. Eon used to not charge. Uh, Citibank, which I believe there's only one branch, it's the main branch that has an ATM. That, that's the only branch that has an ATM, is the main branch. Uh, but other than that, I think maybe HSBC, um, they may not charge. However, in most cases, you're going to have to pay the 150 or 180 baht charge that they assess for withdrawing money. And considering that the most you can withdraw is 30,000 baht, and in most cases 20,000 baht, uh, that's a fairly high percentage to, to pay. Now, if you're on holiday, it's not much. But if you're doing it uh, several times a month, or in my case, sometimes I take out money from the U.S. twice a week, maybe once a week. So it, it does add up over the course of a year. Uh, there are some things that you can do. Uh, first of all, my bank in the past used to, which is SunTrust in, in Florida, I don't know if they're elsewhere, but uh, they, what they used to do was refund any international charges. So if you got charged uh, $20, then you got $20 refunded to your account. They also did not charge for international charges, uh, for international withdrawals. So I never was charged, which was great. However, that changed. My bank now, SunTrust, charges. And uh, here in Thailand, they charge also. And I don't want to make the trip all the way down to the main branch of uh, where Citibank is to make the withdrawal. So... I get charged, and sometimes I get charged double. Uh, I get charged for the SunTrust charge in the U.S., and I get charged for the bank charge in Thailand. So I, I do have another account. It's Capital One. It used to be Indirect. They do not charge for international withdrawals. So I only get charged for one charge. I get charged for the 180 baht charge or whatever it is for the ATM that I would draw here. Uh, now, what can you do about that? Well, there's a couple things. You can do a wire transfer. If you've got a large amount of money, you can do a wire transfer, say $5,000, $10,000. You transfer the money and you get charged about $50 US, and that's for the sending fees and the intermediary fees or whatever, the banking fees, about $45, $50. So that's one way to do it. But you're going to lose on the exchange rate. And you know, the bottom line is it costs money to send money. Another thing you can do, which I do, is you through SunTrust, I can send to Bangkok Bank here in Thailand. They have an intermediary bank in New York, so they allow transfers. Now, if I transfer from the U.S. to Thailand, a two-day transfer, I'm charged $6.00 for $2,000 transfer. That's the maximum that you can transfer per day, $2,000. If I want a one-day transfer, which actually you got to add a day to these transfer times because of the time difference and the way things work, uh, it's $3. Wait a minute. It's $3 for the, for the two-day and $6 for the one-day. Excuse me. So that makes it very convenient because you don't have to pay any banking fees. Then you, 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 got, you go to your bank up bank, you withdraw the money, and boom, it, it's simple. Uh, that's another way to, to make the transfer. Now, if you want to transfer out of Thailand to the United States or wherever it is, uh, make sure you have documentation. And by documentation, I mean this. Uh, when I was working in boxing, I used to have to make transfers abroad for things like uh, organization fees uh, for uh, an event for for this for that okay I would have to make for for uh, 
uh, sanctioning fees, this kind of thing. Now, in most cases, if I made a transfer, it, it always was over a couple of thousand dollars. Uh, maybe it's two thousand, three thousand dollars. I transferred to Korea, Singapore, uh, the U.S., uh, uh, Guyana. Transferred to several different places, Russia. Now, when I go into the bank, first of all, if you have a bank that you're using all the time, or the, establish a relationship with the people at the bank. That that's the first thing. That always helps, no matter where you are. So I established relationship with people at Siam Commercial Bank. I know them, they know me, they, they've seen my kids, they know that I've been here for a long time. So I go in, now, for instance, uh, sanctioning fees or organization fees or something like that. If you print out the, a, a copy of what the website looks like, and maybe you print out your emails, your correspondence back and forth, they have something that they can staple to that transfer so they know this is what the person said we're allowing it uh, in other cases I had invoices made up for events and uh, things like that or uh, things like uh, when it was Guyana it was about paying for airline tickets and hotel fees and these kind of things and I, made, I simply made it, uh, a, an invoice up from a template and I brought in the invoice and I brought in a couple of emails that we had sent back and forth. Went in, boom, showed them the invoice. Simple as that. Now, you, you're going to have to pay uh, something like 1500 baht if you're paying for the sending fees and the receiving fees. Uh, the, the, the fees vary a little bit, but basically I paid about uh, something like it wasn't 1500 baht I think it was a uh, thousand and fifty baht or something like that but anywhere from a thousand to 1500 baht is about what you pay so that's it just bring your documentation you got to have some kind of documentation if you just go in and go oh, I want to transfer five thousand dollars they're gonna be like uh, sorry sir you have any paperwork and if it's like for school tuition for your kids back home or something like that then print out a copy of the of the school's website and a copy of their list of fees. Simple as that. Uh, and if you can get an invoice from them, that'd be better. But you, you need to have some kind of paperwork accompanying uh, the application for transfer, the transfer uh, document. If you do these kind of things, generally life will be easy. You go in, you show them the paperwork, and that's it. Now, if they get difficult with you, just tell them, you know what, fuck off. That's it. I'm going somewhere else. I've been in banks where they started to get a little difficult, and I showed them the papers, and then that was it. They said, oh, okay, all right, all right, no problem. Because there are some places, although they remember me, they're not so quick to, to like me enough to be like, okay, yeah, we'll help you out, no problem. Whereas I go into Siam Commercial, and, you know, the tellers know me, the managers know me, the new managers who have come in, oh, yeah, this guy, oh, okay. Somebody has told them, oh, yeah, this guy's been here for... Uh, 18 plus years he's got a couple of kids and uh, so they know me establish a relationship that's the other tip anyway until next time that's all i got i'm scott i'm an american in bangkok choke the lat choke bangkok.